Over many years of living in China, I've had the chance to explore all kinds of factories, whether it's car makers, food processors, or clothing manufacturers. And no matter the industry, I've been blown away by just how automated these places have become. Especially in the past few years, as China rides the wave of Industry 4.0, smart factories have been popping up left and right, completely reshaping my view of modern manufacturing. Take food factories for example. Nowadays, everything from moving raw ingredients to processing, packaging and even storage is powered by intelligent systems, with automation doing almost all of the heavy lifting. Today, I've come to Foshan, the birthplace of Chinese soy sauce. So let's go. What? Soy sauce coffee? Huh? No. I would never, ever think of putting those two ingredients together, but let's give it a go. Wow. That is really quite nice. So here is an example of how the Chinese used to make soy sauce the traditional way many, many years ago. And for more than 400 years, Chinese people have been able to turn soybeans into soy sauce. From selection of the beans, to fermentation, brewing and drying, to what Chinese people say, to buy soy sauce. It's very cool. So I have two jars of soybeans in my hands here. So basically you can see these beans are of not a good quality and these won't pass into the production process. Whereas these ones are of a much better quality, they're bigger, they're rounder, they have no impurities and these will go through to the manufacturing process. So how do they process these beans to make sure they get consistent quality? Well, it's no longer done by human labour, it's all now done by AI. This machine can process 13,000 soybeans a second. That's just incredible. Imagine a lorry load of soybeans in front of you that can be processed and checked for quality in just a few minutes. That is just mind blowing. I, I just can't think of that kind of volume being processed in such a short amount of time. Manic. So now we're at the sun drying area. This area is 600,000 square meters. That's the size of 1,200 basketball courts. There must be so much soy sauce in there. No wonder I can smell it when we were walking here. Around 400 years ago, the Chinese began using soybeans to make soy sauce, kicking off the tradition of sun-dried fermentation. Even with today's advanced technology and digitalization, they still stick to the traditional full soy sauce brewing process. So the staff just told me the reason they built such a large soy sauce pool is because the sunlight produces more amino acids, which makes the soy sauce taste better. And this natural flavor is really difficult to replicate with other methods. And this is why Chinese people say, depend on the weather. I think I understand what they mean now. So let me take a smell of these two different soy sauces. Actually, they smell very similar to me. You know, in the past, the quality of soy sauce was down to the good nose of the soy sauce master brewer. The Chinese people are really smart. They've taken all that experience from the soy sauce master and turned it into data, which they now put into this machine here. And in less than a minute, this machine can give you the quality of the soy sauce. And this means it's much more consistent than before. These 316L stainless steel pipes behind me are what transports the soy sauce to the bottling plant. And I've learned that they've added NIR spectral analysis to the pipelines, which means the soy sauce is actually tested in real time. So now we're getting ready to go into the bottling plant. Before entering the production area, we took the necessary precautions to maintain a clean environment. We also followed a strict hygiene protocol, which included washing our hands thoroughly and using alcohol to ensure they were germ free. An average Chinese household consumes 64 bottles of soy sauce per year. And this bottling machinery line behind me can process and fill 52,000 bottles per hour. That is just incredible. That's enough soy sauce for 100 families for eight years. That is just China speed, something which Chinese people are really, really proud of. So this is an AI machine that checks the bottles to make sure the labeling is correctly put on. And uh, when it's rejected, they will come down here. So we're gonna wait for one to come out and then we're gonna have a look when it's rejected and see what the reason is. Oh, here comes one. You see, the label's not lined up correctly. It's so fast. 
It's mind blowing. It's just crazy. I've never seen so much soy sauce in all my life. And these machines are running and running and running. I just can't imagine all that consumption of soy sauce in China. It just, it's just mind blowing. It's just like never ending. It's just like, I don't know. I don't know how to describe it. It's just mad. Wow, look at all these products. And there was me thinking they only made soy sauce. There must be more than a hundred different products here. Let's have a look. Let's see what I know. I recognize this one because we use this one at home. This is oyster sauce. This is flipping great in your chow fan. If making chow fan, you want to be putting some of that in. We have this one here. This is actually one of their premium products. As you can see, gold label light soy sauce. I need to try some of that one. But not only that, they also have varieties for people with special diets. So for example, this one here is gluten free. And then you have here, this one is organic. This is organic soy sauce. And then one that especially I would like, I like this lower salt one. Um, I, I, I like this one because I'm I have a very sensitive palate to salt, so this is perfect for me. If you've been here before, you will know that this factory is a lighthouse factory. It's the very first one of the soy sauce brewing factories in the world with this status, Hai Tien. Currently, there are only 172 lighthouse factories in the world. And in Western countries, most modern manufacturing is usually used for standardized and repetitive tasks. Only China can apply digital upgrades to the ancient soy sauce production process. Absolutely great. The art of Chinese soy sauce making is a very complex and intricate process with around 119 different steps. And what Hai Tien have done is they've managed to digitalize the whole of that process. That's kind of a challenge as big as climbing Mount Everest. But as always, from Hai Tien here in Foshan, take care.